Snap-on's exclusive fast-track intelligent diagnostic software helps you diagnose cars faster and easier because it takes all of the information that you have on a vehicle, breaks it down for you specific to a code to that vehicle all on one screen. So you don't have to access multiple different areas of the tool, multiple different modules and find information in many different places. Brings it all right to you, filtered down by that search term. So let's see how that operates with this Zeus Plus over here. All right, so on this vehicle, we've completed a pre-scan and we see we have a P0128 code in the engine control module. It's coolant thermostat code. So to access Fast Track Intelligent Diagnostics, all we need to do is hit this Diagnose button right there and it'll bring us to our Diagnostics landing page. As you can see, we have multiple, we call these cards. So we see TSBs, smart data, functional tests and resets, guided component tests, sure track information, real fixes, troubleshooter information, and a link to Shopkey or Mitchell repair information. So having this laid out this way, every code, it will be laid out the same way. It'll just have different information in each area. So if I were to read this like a book, top to bottom, left to right, and go through each of these cards, it'll walk me through a repeatable diagnostic workflow. So the first thing you want to do in any diagnostic is you want to check TSBs first. So in this case, we have a green check mark on the TSBs. That indicates there are no technical bulletins related to a P0128 on this 2018 Camry. Now, that saves time just in and of itself because instead of searching through the hundreds of possible TSBs on this vehicle, we get down to where, well, I don't have any, or maybe I have two or three, depending on the code. It'll give you an indicator on that card when you do. Next thing, top to bottom, left to right, we have top repairs. So this is based on over 2 billion real world repair orders on real vehicles. And it'll give you over a 200,000 mile range. What were the top most common repairs for this code on this vehicle? So we see the number one overall is replace the coolant thermostat 140 times overall over this entire 200,000 mile range. The largest number of occurrences was at, oh, about looks like about 30 or so. Uh, at about 150,000 miles. So it's cumulative over that entire 200,000. So highest peak right there. So you take your vehicle's mileage, put it, put it about where it is on this graph, and you can see what is the most common repair at each of those, wherever the mileage is. And then it gives you a top six list. Now, I'm not gonna say that's the number one thing to do and just do it and you'll be all set because that's a, not a good idea, but we wanna use this as a guide to see what have other technicians done in this circumstance. Helps us maybe avoid having to call a tech line, something like that. Go down a little further, we have our smart data. So this is code specific scanner data. Now if you've been dealing with reading data on a, on a scan tool for any amount of time, you know there can be hundreds of different PID data parameters that we have to go scroll through to find. What this does is it takes information from real world scan sessions from real vehicles and it breaks down, here are just the PIDs that we wanna look at for this code. It also sets what we call flags. So it's based on known good min and max uh, parameters. And if it goes outside of those parameters, like it just did right there, if it ever goes outside of those parameters, it'll turn the flag red and it'll indicate where that parameter went out of spec. So as we can see over here on the left-hand side, we got a blue flag for long-term field trim. And then we got a red flag on short-term field trim and then one on vehicle load as well. And we can see right here, that flag is red. So that directs me to well, I have an issue here. This has gone outside of parameters. Now we want to have these smart data should only be used while the vehicle is idling and at operating temperature with no loads because that's what the data is based on. But as you can see, I have a very short list of PIDs because these are the only ones that we need to be concerned about for this particular code. Uh, so we can see that'll help speed us up. Now, if I wanted to see where this PID data was when it occurred, all I have to do is on the bottom of the screen, we have this flag. Click on the flag, it'll open up the graph that it pertains to, and then it also shows us over here on the left, there's a red line there. That's where it went out of parameter right there. Uh, so quick and easy at a glance way to get in and see well, you know, which, what are these parameters doing? Are they in spec? Are they out of spec? Where might I need to look? Gives you a little bit of extra info and it did it all automatically. You could do a manual custom data list if you wanted to, you could set manual triggers, but with one click, the tool does it for you automatically. Let's hit exit. 
and then it's going to give us our smart data list. We could go access that or we can access any of the other data lists on the vehicle as well. Back again. From our landing page now, we can go to functional tests, which is next. So this will filter out any of the functional tests on a vehicle, be it output control, special functions, any of those sort of things. And it could be dozens of different output controls or functional tests on a vehicle. In this case, for a, for a thermostat, it gives us our cooling fan on and off because that would be related to our thermostat. Any other tests available on the vehicle are going to be down here below as well. So filtering out that test on the top. I hit the back button again. Scroll down a little more. We have our guided component test meter here. So this takes vehicle specific component tests and brings them to the forefront here. So out of the 5 million available guided component tests in the tool, it brings back any of the related items. So we have e ECM at the top and then ECT sensor. So once again, related to, I may need to test something at the computer. I may need to test something at the coolant temperature sensor. Uh, so having those filtered out on the top of the screen. And then of course, any other component tests available on the vehicle are available on the bottom. So you could go in there manually if you wish to do so. Back up again, scroll down a little bit more and we get down to our SureTrack information. So SureTrack is once again based on those over 2 billion real-world repair orders, and it gives you the most common fix first. So it's in a complaint cause correction format. You can read through what those technicians did in that case. And then on the top right here, it tells us how many times that was a confirmed fix in the real world. Go down a little bit further to the bottom, we have additional real fixes. So our top real fix is on the screen, and then you see we have uh, five total real fixes for this particular problem. Could be a code could be combinations of code, could also be symptoms in there as well. So once again, that can help you learn what have real techs done in the real world on a real vehicle with a problem. Next one's gonna be troubleshooter information. So this is generally gonna be code tips, uh, what are code set criteria, threshold, that sort of thing, all real world information based on that. And then the last thing on the bottom right hand corner is gonna be a link to repair information. So if you have a subscription to optional ShopKey or Mitchell repair information, you can link it directly to the tool. So if I click on that, it's going to bring me in, load my vehicle in, log me into my account, and also do a search for the code. So we'd already done this previous. It, takes, it does take a couple seconds, but uh, in here we have our search results. So on the left-hand side is going to be my OEM results for the PO128. On the right hand side is going to be my OEM results combined with our top repairs. So it helps us drill down into that information even more. So if I click on that with my thermostat, and we can see it looks very similar to the Fast Track Intelligent Diagnostics screen. I have my real fixes, top repairs, causes and fixes. I also have guided component testing in here, OEM test procedures, specifications, component connector views, component locators, component operation, wiring diagrams, removal and replacement, after repair info, parts and labor information. There are up to 16 different categories for this information. And it, depending on what the search is, you will return the information based on if there is information available. So you could see three different categories, you could see 16 different categories. Just depends on how much information is available on that particular code. In this instance, we see a lot of information available. So in closing, Fast Track Intelligent Diagnostics does help you speed up your diagnostic day uh, just because it helps you filter that information based on what you're working on at the time in the bay.